Hello dear ones, this is Brenda from Live Tarot and uh, lately I have been so inspired and called to create decks and so I've created four different decks and I've done videos for all of them so that you can see the decks and I've done readings for each one. So um, primarily my passion and purpose with Live Tarot is two things. One is to help support all those who are on the Twin Flame Soul Connection journey. I always say the label doesn't matter. It All that matters is that it is your journey to love and how that looks for you is the most important thing. And number two, um, as many of you know, I am a recovering sales funnel builder slash magazine publisher slash college professor. And so um, that was my previous incarnation. But for many years, um, my what I did with my um, company was to help entrepreneurs build online businesses. So you know, last year I just realized that I was just not inspired by that anymore. I didn't feel like I was tapping into my own greatness or my own real passion and purpose. And so I just decided to stop, stop it all. I, I sent an email to my list and all, all my database of clients and said, I'm retiring. <laughs> and they were like, what? You're retiring? Well, what do you mean you're retiring? <laughs> and I did. And now I, I have never been more happier or more fulfilled since I started Live Tarot. And so, sorry, long story short is I, I wanted to explain that to you because this is one of my decks that doesn't have to do with twin flames. So like the other three decks that I created are all about twin flames. So one is called the twin flame oracle. The other one is called um, twin flames in separation messages for those of you who are in separation. And the third one is called twin flame shadow and light messages. So those are the three twin flame decks. And then this fourth one is actually in honor of my eight years in digital marketing and helping entrepreneurs. So I know that uh, many of you are divine feminines who are on the twin flame journey. I also know that many of you are, this is so cool, divine feminines who are on the twin flame journey as well as in the material world, you're building an online business, whether you're a tarot reader or a creative or, you know, in any kind of a spiritual realm of creating a business, like a healer or a psychic or any kind of, um, you know, business that is really about the soul, about the heart, about transforming lives and helping people. I wanted to create something special for you. And so I created this. It's called the Divine Feminine Entrepreneur. And it seeks to honor all of those amazing goddesses out there who are really seeking to make a difference in this world and create abundance for their own family. So it's like a combination of contribution and being able to support your family, to be able to live your dreams, to give everything that you want to give to your children, your family, and to yourself. So that's what this deck is all about. And I'm really excited to show it to you and go over it with you. Also because I am going to be doing readings throughout the week, every week on YouTube that are two types of readings. So one are going to be twin flame readings and the other one is going to be entrepreneurship readings, business readings to help you get yourself ready every week so that you could go out there and just, you know, nail it in business. Like, you know, just do an incredible job for yourself. Start creating the income that you want, you know, reach more people with your message, um, be a, a, an attraction magnet to all the perfect clients, the clients that and customers that you, that you want to work with, the ones that whose, whose lives you can transform the most. So that's what the business readings are going to be all about. I'm going to be doing those so that um, the cards and spirit can guide you as you make your way on your business journey. So that's what this is all about. So we're going to go through the deck and then I'm going to do a business reading for you uh, utilizing this deck. Okay, so there it is, the Divine Feminine Entrepreneur. This is each of my decks. Uh, the this is the main. This is kind of like the the main the title card, right? And behind that, I have a message for you, for on each of these decks. So this one is 
Dear ones, welcome. I created this deck for women entrepreneurs who are creating spiritual spirituality and wellness-based businesses. Use these cards daily as your morning ritual to get yourself focused and centered to step into your power as a divine feminine entrepreneur. The messages will help you clarify your path, reveal aspects of business that you may need to work on more, and give you specific action steps to take to build a thriving business that supports you both financially and spiritually. You're doing great things in the world. I'm really excited about this. Very excited. So let's take a look at what this deck looks like. I'm going to go through every card with you. So let me give you an idea about how I created this deck. So in my eight years of experience in online business, um, guiding countless entrepreneurs through our online business magazine. So we had a business magazine called Savvy Biz that um, we featured some of the most successful entrepreneurs, many, many amazing women entrepreneurs, all of them, their story was from zero to millions. So like they started at zero, they built their own empires and are now running like seven figure businesses. And so I've interviewed probably over 150 of those kinds of entrepreneurs. And so when you are um, building a business like that, there are certain keywords, certain aspects of building your business that you must focus on in order to create a long-term sustainable and thriving business. So when I sat down to create this deck, I asked myself, okay, in all your years of experience, what were the things that come up again and again? These are this, what are the foundational elements of a successful online business? And so I, I really took a lot of time to think about what were those things that when they all come together as a whole, they're incredibly powerful and in moving you forward to building the kind of business that you want, that gives you freedom, that gives you abundance, that gives you income and impact. So that's what each of these cards focuses on one aspect of those things in business that you must, must master. And if you don't, you're going to have a hard time having a long-term sustainable business. So that's why these cards are so powerful because like, say you purchase these cards, you're a divine feminine entrepreneur. My, my um, wish for you is to use them either daily or at least every other day to keep yourself on track with your business, right? To see the places, let them show you the places where you might be having a gap. Like let them show you the places where that might be your blind spot, like things that you may not be considering in your business and that you need to give attention to. So that's what each of these cards is going to be all about. So let, let's take a look at it. You tell me in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you, what you think about all of these aspects of business Business that I've included and how you would want to use these cards in your own business. That would be great. Like share with us. So I'd love to hear from you. What are you doing? What is your business? Um, what are your plans? What are your dreams for your business? And, and do you think that the, this, this kind of daily ritual, this kind of spiritual practice around your business would be empowering to you? Okay. So let's get started. First one, transform. So what I did was the major ideas for each, like those foundational elements that you need to have for your business are up at the top. So that will be the main keyword. And then underneath, I have a very specific message for you that has to do with um, accomplishing these things. Okay, so I'm going to read off each of the messages. So transform. If you want to break through your internal blocks and stop struggling, you have to do things differently than what you've been doing so far. Offer. Identify the specific qualities of your ideal client or customer and make solid, no-brainer offers that they're happy to buy. Transition. Changes are coming that require you to shift into new ways of thinking and doing business. Don't resist. Embrace the changes. Write. Copywriting is the art of persuasion. Learn how to craft words that speak to the heart of your ideal clients. Trust. 
Implement a solid marketing plan that builds your clients' trust in you. When you show up consistently for them, they'll know that you care. Step up. Don't be the best kept secret in your niche. Boost your visibility. Step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to attract your ideal clients. Lead. Develop the best way to work with your clients. Create programs, packages, and products that help them solve their problems. Build. Build your email list and nurture your audience by staying in touch. Funnel. Create a dynamic customer experience that nurtures prospects to become paying clients. Build a simple sales funnel. Muse. Take time away from the daily hustle. Give yourself quiet time in nature to muse. Create space for your creativity and fresh ideas will flow. Speak. Take center stage. Speak at events, conferences, and workshops. Share your message and transform lives through your work. Go live. Build an authentic relationship with your audience by hosting live sessions around your topic on social media. Prioritize. Narrow your focus. Split energy leads to poor results. Prioritize your most important business tax tasks and get them done first. Decide. Decide the best course of action and pursue income generating activities in your business. Contribute. Build your authority by creating content for your own website and by guest posting on popular blogs in your niche. Simplify. Declutter your home and office. Stop wasting time on busy work that doesn't move your business forward. Innovate. Is your business too generic? Highlight what you can give to your clients that no one else can. Frame your offers in a completely new way. Profit. Welcome abundance into your life. Create a strong relationship with money. Rejoice in the opportunities and experiences it brings. Broadcast. Develop your unique voice. Then get your message out to your ideal audience. Consider starting a podcast or radio show. Advertise. Get the word out about your business in a strategic way. Experiment with paid advertising to attract real buyers and build your list. Give back. Donate to your community or causes that are close to your heart. It creates an energy of abundance around you and your business. Design. Build a simple and elegant website that attracts buyers who love and engage with your brand. Learn. Work with a mentor to implement the right strategies to get the business results you want. Be open-minded and enthusiastic to learn. Oh, you know what this reminds me of that I forgot to tell you? I've also created, in order to support you, a free ebook and audio course called The Ultimate Tarot Business Plan. Now, it does talk about building a tarot business. However, if you are a creative and you are building a spiritually based business, then all of I all of the things that I talk about in the Ultimate Tarot Business Plan can apply to you as well. So, you know, why not take a look at it? It's free. I'll link to it below. All you have to do is download the ebook and it comes with a whole audio course along with it, okay? So, you know, regardless of whether you're a tarot reader or not, Take a look at it and see if it resonates with you. Take what works for you and leave the rest. Okay, so make sure you download that. Okay, show up. Consistency is queen in marketing your business online. Show up every day for your audience, give value and make offers. Set goals. Get a beautiful planner that inspires you and write down your dreams and goals. Then promise yourself that you will make them come true. Direct. Learn how to find and direct your ideal clients and customers to your offers, website, content, and social media channels. Finance. 
Make a monthly budget for your business and personal income and expenses. Always be clear and specific about your finances. Attract. Focus on attracting and building relationships with clients who are happy to buy your products and services. Position. Step into your power boldly. Own your topic. Show how you can help. Position yourself as the expert in your niche. Diversify. Build the no like trust factor with your audience. Be ubiquitous in your niche by sharing your content on diverse platforms. Master. Master how you handle your thoughts and emotions on a daily basis as a successful entrepreneur. Journal. Keep a journal. Sorry, this thing is not, um, there you go. Keep a journal of your business journey. I want to make sure that the camera focuses for you so you can read along with this. Keep a journal of your business journey. Write down all of your dreams, desi desires, and goals. Paint a picture of the lifestyle you want and review it daily. Stand out. List ways to bring out, list ways to bring out what makes you and your brand extraordinary so you can stand out from the crowd? Create. Get creative in your business. How can you break the rules in your niche? How can you create momentum? How can you zag when all others zig? Schedule. Avoid overwhelm. Save time and energy by automating your social media and marketing. Schedule it on a content calendar. Balance. Manifest amazing business results by staying in balance. Work hard, but take breaks to get back into ease and flow. Feel the joy as you work. Plan. Anticipate setbacks and failures. Plan for them. Don't let them drain your energy. Use them as fuel to go after your dreams. Analyze. Research your market and analyze your competition. Decide how you're going to take, make better offers and provide more value than everyone else. Automate. Develop ways to add passive income streams to your business so you don't have to work so hard. Earn some income while you sleep. Publish. Start that book you always wanted to write. Get your message out and touch people's lives. Manage. Manage your time wisely. Delegate or outsource tasks that drain your energy and do tasks that are in your realm of unique brilliance. Mastermind. Join a community of entrepreneurs who can give you the love, support, and feedback you need to achieve your dreams. Align. Stay in alignment with your core values and your vision for the lifestyle you want to create with your business. Invest. Invest in yourself to learn the skills you need to create a thriving business that grows wealth for you. Sell. Learn the art of sales. Embrace selling as a sacred exchange of energy, well-being, and goodwill between you and your ideal clients. Strategize. Results are not coming fast enough. You need a solid step-by-step -step strategy in place that takes the guesswork out of growing your business. Move forward. Overcome your fear to take real action to move your business forward. Don't wait or justify. Step out of comfort and take your next action step. Publicize. Stop hiding behind your computer. Get publicity for your brand. Be bold and visible in your market. Be the rock star that you are. Collaborate. Business can be lonely. Find lucrative ways to collaborate with others to build both of your brands. Hire. If you're feeling overwhelmed with a never-ending to-do list, 
Outsource your mundane business tax to a virtual assistant. Get the support. Appreciate. Practice gratitude as part of your sacred daily ritual. Feeling deep appreciation for your blessings manifests more abundance and joy. Elevate. Elevate your mindset. If you want to get different results, if you keep thinking and acting the same way, nothing will change in your business. Book clients. Focus on booking your calendar with enough clients to reach your monthly income goal. Brainstorm. Keep fresh ideas flowing for your business. If you feel stuck, take some quiet time with your journal and write down everything that comes. Rejuvenate. Relax. Business can be exhausting. Give yourself time to nourish your body and refresh your spirit with a deep sense of well-being. Inspire. When you become influential in your field, you inspire people to step into their own greatness because you rose to your own first. Connect. Use social media efficiently to connect with your audience. Be specific about what outcome you desire from your efforts and focus your actions there. Entertain. Your brand should educate and entertain your clients. Make them smile, laugh, and feel great when they interact with you and your brand. Share. Get your message out, reach more people, and develop a deeper connection with your audience through video. Let them get to know the real you. And last, I love this one, conquer. You have the strength to overcome all challenges on your path to emotional and financial freedom. Keep going, be unstoppable. Okay, so those are all of the cards and messages in the Divine Feminine Entrepreneur Oracle. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a second to set up for a reading using these cards so that you can see how you can use them and how they can very powerfully help you keep moving forward and taking action in your business. Okay, so we're back. And so this is what we're gonna do. We are going to do a business reading for this week for you. So we're going to look at where you currently are in your energy with your business, um, what kinds of things may be blocking you from uh, succeeding in terms of getting, um, getting, your, getting more clients, getting more customers, you know, what, what kinds of guidance do you need to continue to grow your business? And what are some of the gaps, some of the spots that you may not be noticing, that you may not know that could truly help you to move forward faster, to get you results faster. And for that, we're going to be using the Divine Feminine Entrepreneur Oracle, and we're going to be using... Um, T traditional tarot cards. So this is the, I believe it's the Druid, the Druid tarot. So we're going to use them in conjunction to give you a really deep, rich reading when it comes to yourself and your own business and your journey of entrepreneurship. So I always start all of my readings with a prayer. Beloved spirit, send your guidance through these cards for the greatest benefit of all who are watching. Okay, I'm going to start by shuffling. Let's start by shuffling the cards.
So these Druid cards are actually quite large, but they're really beautiful. So All right, so our first question for Spirit is, Dear Spirit, what are the divine feminine entrepreneur's energies entering this week? How is she feeling um, related to her business and her business journey? And, you know, what, what is her current vibration when it comes to her business? So fascinating. What I'm getting here is a deep desire to succeed in the material world that is coming through with the Queen of Pentacles here that, you know, you, this is how you see yourself. You see yourself as a feminine who is very, very good at creating abundance or or actually that's what you'd like to be you're aspiring to be the queen of pentacles you know because the queen of pentacles is so down to earth she's so um earthy and in control like she knows how to get things um get things done in the material world that brings about you know financial security right she's very secure she's very um in control like she she does things in a measured way like she may not be some quick decision maker like the queen of swords she may not be the first to take action like the queen of wands but she is very grounded, right? She takes her time. She measures herself. She paces herself. Um, and she's very focused on taking the right decision instead of the fast decision. So this is where I feel is your, your um, current energy is coming in when it comes to your business. Like you want, you're kind of in a, in a um, when, when you put that with the four of swords and the high priestess and this, this queen being in between the high priestess and the four of swords, it tells me that you are in a slow down mode that you are currently trying to slow down and wanting to take some time to do things right because there's something in you that feels that business seems to be so fast, right? It's like fast action, fast action. The world is always changing. There's always a new strategy, a new shiny object. There's so many different paths you can take that it sometimes gets confusing. So you're you're kind of I feel from you divine feminine entrepreneur that you're a little bit tired you're like a little bit war weary from that and so what you'd like to do is to see if you could get some rest and respite which is that four of swords right you need to take a time out you need a little bit of time to reflect and you're also feeling that perhaps if you took that time out to reflect then you can tap into your high priestess mode because the high priestess is where you can truly access the deep guidance and intuition that is within your own soul. So it's almost like you're thinking, you know, I am tired of chasing the external. Like I, I'm, I'm used to looking at different webinars and different advertising, I'm being inundated by different products and services from different so-called gurus, you know, do this to do that, to market your business this way, get clients that way, build a sales funnel, you know, do Facebook ads, do all this stuff, but you, it's not working for you. And now you want to take some time to get the answers from within you to go into the high priestess. Because when you go into that high priestess mode, then your path becomes more clear. So that's where we are. So where, how, what is it that, how is this going to manifest? Like, what is it going to make you work on? Like, what is it going to have, help you to work on? Ah, 
Okay, so this makes sense. So when you give yourself a little bit of that time out and tap into the depth and the silence and the wisdom of the high priestess, it's going to help you do these two things. One is to understand how selling works in your business, right? It's going to help you tap into what sales really mean. And I know that this is, um, this is sometimes a, a real stumbling point for women entrepreneurs. Um, sales seems like a bad word, like a dirty word, like, oh, you know, I, I don't want to sell myself. I don't want to sell, I have to sell my products and services. It feels so icky. Like I'm not a salesman, you know, that that's not my job. That's not how I see myself. But the reality is divine feminine entrepreneurs that sales is an art and it is actually a sacred as this what does this say a sacred exchange of energy well-being and goodwill between you and your ideal clients so perhaps one of the most important messages coming here from spirit is that if you are not getting the results that you want from your business so far like you're not getting the income that you want it's because you need to adjust how you feel and think about sales and that going into the high priestess energy is going to help you to do that. Because when you apply your, your guidance as the high priestess, what you feel deep inside, you can transform what this means to you. You can transform this into a more sacred path that you can sell from a place of spirituality, service, sacredness, right? You can actually easily and within a particular flow sell your products and services but you need to access these two together and what it also is going to help you work on when you do that is what are you actually offering to sell right so this this space this creation of this this all of this space is going to help you to clarify what are your offers? And, and if you feel that the things that you offer are not selling, like whatever are your products, whatever are your services, if you feel that they're not selling, then you need to figure out why is that? Um, where, what is the correlation between your offer and whether it's selling or not? So this is this whole process of stepping back because, right, the Four of Swords is very much an energy of stepping back. So the process of stepping back is going to help you to clarify, are you making the right offers to your ideal clients, clients and customers? And are you selling them in the right way? And if not, how does this need to change? Okay, so that's what I'm getting for what, what is your current energy when it comes to your business. Now, let's ask spirit. So, you know, what are the things that divine feminine entrepreneur is not seeing right now? What are some of her blind spots or gaps um, in her understanding when it comes to business that she needs to take a closer look at? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So what I'm getting from this is, first of all, off the bat, right, because you're in that space right now, you are definitely in a space of worrying. So right now, what I'm getting from you, Divine Feminine Entrepreneur, is that you really are a little bit overwhelmed, um, you're a little stressed out. Uh, you're wondering whether this is actually going to work out for you. And um, you're wondering if you have what it takes to make this business work. Or are you going to be one of the many statistics of people who try and fail? So there's a lot that is weighing upon you right now. The Nine of Swords is something like you're definitely up at night. You're definitely not sleeping as well as you could. This is for some of you, maybe not all of you, but you're definitely worried. You definitely feel like there's some sort of a burden on your shoulders here. And what you're trying to achieve is this, you know, is this Nine of Cups because 
when you're in the energy of the nine of cups, you feel like it is truly right. The opposite of this energy. So here's where you are, but here's where you want to be. You want to be in a place where you are feeling really good about yourself and what you've built. Um, you know, you're at, a a place where your cups are so full. Um, you feel financially happy. You feel contentment. You feel that all the work that you've put in has brought you the results that you want. However, you see yourself here, right? You see yourself here that you're still maturing, right? You're still this Prince of Cups, right? You're not quite here. You want to get here, but you're kind of still in this phase where you're, you're kind of, you know, still, you're still growing. You're still understanding. Um, you know that you have it within you. You know that, that you have the passion. You know that you have a purpose. You're going somewhere, right? You want to go somewhere, but this is a heavy energy that's weighing on you and that is keeping you right now, at least for the time being, from getting here. But you know that this is your goal, right? You know that this is where you're trying to get, but you're still maturing. You're still kind of in that phase of like, okay, there are a lot of steps that I still need to take to get here. And, and what's not serving me is my own feeling of stress, Right? How can I remove this so that I can see the clearest path from here to here? And that's, that's, so let's see what the uh, twin, uh, sorry, twin flame, I'm so used to saying twin flame, what the divine feminine oracle has to say about where are those gaps? Like what is going to take you out of this and making the transition from the Prince of Cups to that nine of cups where you feel like all your cups are full, what was that going to do for you? Where? What are you going to need to do? Oh, interesting, huh? very interesting. Okay. So I think what Spirit is saying is very clear here. <laughs> They're saying that if you want to get up, get, if you want to make the transition from being still on your like, you know, kind of like baby steps, right? You're still taking tiny steps forward to getting to where you'd like to go. Then these are the things you're going to have to do, which is number one, learn, work with a mentor to implement the right strategies to get the business results you want. Be open-minded and enthusiastic to learn. So, you know, maybe right now, divine feminine entrepreneur, you don't have uh, a mentor. Maybe you don't have somebody who has done or achieved what you'd like to do and that they're there to show you and guide you to do the same. Maybe you're, you're, maybe the reason why you're feeling like this is because you're trying to do it all by yourself. And when you're trying to do everything by yourself, definitely this energy is going to weigh you down because it's just too much to handle for one person, especially when it comes to your income, taking care of your family, you know, trying to achieve abundance and prosperity in your life. So that's the first thing is that is there somebody you who can guide you, who can guide you along the path correctly? Second thing is showing up. Are you showing up consistently? Uh, in your market? Are you showing up consistently for your ideal clients and customers? Do they know who you are? Um, are you connecting with them on a consistent basis? And next thing is, are you inspiring them? Um, are you truly stepping into your own greatness so that you inspire your clients, your audience, your um, your ideal follower, like people who, whose lives you know you can impact, are you impacting them? Are you influencing them? Are you helping them to make their lives better? Okay, so that's what's, I think that's very, very clear from spirit, what they're trying to say in terms of, you know, what may, what may be the gaps that you're experiencing right now. So let's now go into 
what, let's ask spirit, what should the divine feminine entrepreneurs next steps be like when, when she has done this, right? When once, once the divine feminine entrepreneur has taken some time out and rested and gotten her bearings, um, once she has tapped into a higher energy, the high priestess's energy, once she's cleared out her stress, maybe some negativity that she might be feeling, maybe some uh, anxiety, what would be her next action steps? Ah, okay. So, Spirit is saying that these are the next three steps as your next organic steps that you can take to further yourself in your business. And one is strategize. So my question for you, divine feminine entrepreneur is, do you have a strategy currently? If you're, see, look what this says, results are not coming fast enough. You need a solid step-by-step -step strategy in place that takes the guesswork out of growing your business. So if you feel like you are just, you know, kind of flying by the seat of your pants, just doing stuff quick, doing this, doing that, but none of it actually is a cohesive strategy, then you need to sit down and think about reining in all those different horses, you know, and coming up with one simple thing that you're doing. And then once you do that, you may want to think about advertising. How are you getting your business in front of the right people? Is there some way that you could advertise or publicize your business so that the people who are looking for you, the right clients and customers that are looking for you can find you? And, th and that will definitely lead to this, right? So when you have, actually it's so interesting how organically and naturally all three of them came together as step one, step two, and step three. When you have the right strategy, when you simplify what you're doing, then you get in front of the right people, your ideal clients and customers, you find a way to get your business in front of them, then naturally you are going to book clients, naturally. Focus on booking your calendar with enough clients to reach your monthly income goal. So this is going to happen for you very naturally, Divine Feminine Entrepreneur, if you put in these steps. So I think that's quite powerful and quite, um, quite easy. Like it gives you a very step-by-step -step step what you need to work on and what you might be missing so far. So let's uh, end the reading by getting some future, future energies for this business. So what are some of the things that are going to be coming up in the you know short term, in the next few weeks for the Divine Feminine Entrepreneur in her business? What are some of the future energies uh, for her business? Hmm. Okay. So did you notice this? This, this to me is very, very, very fascinating in terms of it almost being like a yin yang, right? That here, the three of cups is all about, um, celebration, coming together with others, um, being around those that support you, um, those that, you know, you care about whether, and, and it's coming together with business partners or other, other women who are other divine feminine entrepreneurs who are also building their businesses. Perhaps this is about being in communion, being part of a community where you all support each other, right? This is very much about being married together, coming together with a shared purpose, um, celebrating your successes together. So this is a wonderful thing. Then this goes into the opposite, which is actually taking some alone time. And so I like that spirit is saying that you're going to come back into a balance, right? This is a very balanced picture because 
what it does is that it allows you to muse. Very interesting. This part comes together, right? And this part comes together. So this is really fascinating how there's a link between both. So here you have more of the things that you're doing out in the material world, divine feminine entrepreneur. You are going to be out there connecting with other people. Perhaps you might even be speaking. So think about this. I know many of you um, are speakers. You like to share your message. Um, you like to speak in front of people. You like to um, do speaking engagements or you like to do you know, Facebook Lives where you teach something. Um, or if you're, a, if you're a professional tarot readers, you like to do readings, right? Because that's a form of speaking. You do maybe perhaps you do video readings. Perhaps you do one-on-one -on -one readings. Perhaps you do readings on social media. Um, so so there's going to be a lot more of that. I'm feeling that you're going to take center stage more. You're going to speak more and you're going to actually be um, connecting with more people because of that. And I think that's coming out clearly with this three of cups. So to me, this is what you're looking at outside in the material world. A lot of interaction with other people. A lot of celebrations, collaborations, coming together, spreading your message. But at the same time, you're also going to give yourself the chance to go back within, right? To take some time out, to take some time to yourself to muse, right? To take away time from the daily hustle. Give yourself quiet time in nature to muse. Create space for your creativity and fresh ideas will flow. So it's very, very amazing and wonderful coming from spirit these two messages that will bring you back into balance because what we want divine feminine entrepreneur is for you to you know and this is interesting because i feel like this is all very similar the these three are similar so you we want you divine feminine um divine feminine entrepreneur to have to be able to get out of this energy. And I think to get out of this energy in the, in the next coming few weeks, these are the things that you're going to be doing and they will bring you back into balance. They will, because look how balanced they are, right? Look how balanced they are. And they will bring you back to where you want to be, which is the queen of pentacles. Love it. What a beautiful, beautiful business reading. What uh, I just love this. I think spirit was with us, you know, and I think that you are on your way to having this powerful combination. If you keep moving forward, you keep clarifying, you keep giving yourself that time, um, stepping back, strategizing, knowing that you're on the right path with the right strategy, seeking out really, really seeking out the right person to learn from, seeking out a great mentor and transforming the way that you sell. So I hope you enjoyed this reading and um, please do leave me some comments. I'd love to hear about what you thought about this reading. For those of you who are divine feminine entrepreneurs and are out there building your businesses, I'd love to hear from you what you thought of this. Um, also, please do make sure to download the ultimate tarot business plan, the free, uh, the free ebook and audio course that I created for you. Again, you don't have to be a tarot reader, e even though it's actually made for tarot readers. It actually applies to all spiritual entrepreneurs. So thank you so much for being here with me today. Love to you all, and I'll see you all on the next video.